Hi and welcome back to Fortress Craft 64 um, Survival and all the other stuff that I normally say which I haven't said for a long time and in this episode we are going to go and look for biomass so the first thing that we're going to be doing is going downstairs we're going to totally ignore any of the problems this um, episode because I want to um, concentrate on the biomass now the first thing um, I did want to uh, do is we need to have some sort of marker and I will need to well no we'll, we'll dig it down we'll dig it out but we will be going down on the central shaft okay so what I'm going to be doing is we're going to go up the main shaft we're going to go to the opposite side of where the other lift is and then we're going to dig down until we hit the crystal cave because the crystal cave is our main supply the nickel I was going to try and get on the gold but I'm not actually going to bother doing that um, so we're in the crystal cave this is where our main home is going to be because just because I like it and it's kind of quite nice so what we need to do is we need to go up here and I know we're going up instead of down <coughs> okay so we now need to know that that there is our second tunnel base okay so that is going to be the center okay so we're just gonna dig that a little bit out of there so that gives us a working stair down and then this goes down here so we can just dig straight down because we know we're going to fall down at least I hope we're going to fall down there we go ouch and that there is our crystal cave marker that is where the secondary lift goes so you can see already that because of that we have got to move our um, power plant okay so this needs to be coming on this side and the iron needs to be going on the back side so we will work on that later um, let me fill that in and now what we're going to be doing because it's going to be the main central shaft here is we are going to go to the uh, scanner and we're going to ping uh, unknown we haven't got anything so let's dig down deeper so we're at 329 in so we've got iron now I can hear it pinging but I can't I can't see it there we go it's down there down that way 
so let's let's get out of this iron so this is going to be a little bit of a problem for us but not too much um, because it's reasonably centre it's going to be going at the main line let's see just how big this one is oh that's big six oh no it's not it's quite small six hundred and forty seven thousand okay so ping and known or again this way there we go so we're going to put a torch here and we're going to hopefully get past this iron now obviously when you're exploring you should be taking a lot of stuff with you um, because you should be taking a power supply pack now I haven't got one with me I didn't bring one but I do have Arthur with me I think he's fully charged now if I'm correct there's going to be two ways that you're going to be finding biomass the first one if you've never done it before is you ping unknown okay and biomass is the last ore you will find and now I call it an ore and it's not really an ore but it is the last one that you find that is going to be of any worth to do with there is one more which is magma which you don't actually use okay and to be honest it's just for decoration at the moment and the other way you do it is you ping air now if you ping unknown it will come eventually there see it yeah now if I'm correct in thinking if you now ping air you see a cavern now that cavern is where the biomass is going to be and that's what we're going to be doing but we're going to concentrate on pinging unknown because I know the devs have put some new stuff in this just going to carry on towards where that is because biomass before the update in version 1.3 you used to find a cave you used to ping air to find the caves and you used to go and find biomass especially in the deeper versions of the tunnel okay now there's no point in making a line to biomass now here we've got titanium okay always good to put a light on newfound ore so you can always see what it is and where it is so we're ping again to make sure we're still going in the right direction yeah we are so we're still going there now Arthur's down at 6.2% but I can't quite see it so it might be something else and there look you can see huge amount of biomass by the look of it that's if it is biomass it might be something else but at the moment that is what we're hunting for we want biomass and for some reason I'm getting a little bit laggy getting very laggy for some reason 
I hope I haven't got another program running in the background so I do apologize for this I'm just gonna wait for a couple of minutes until it's cleared on the lag not sure why I've got lag got a lag spike I shouldn't do because I haven't got anything on in the background that I am aware of but my computer she can she can be a bitch at times if she wants to but it could also be that the uh, new location is loading up right so let's ping again and there we go, it's got the first little batch there and we've got lots, we've got lots there so we are going to go for the nearest batch and I think that might actually be bigger but I'm not too worried shortly I think now might be a good time to do a lot more pinging yes we're got we're now going to be going this way so this is where hopefully we have found biomass if it's not biomass then it's a new ore or a new item that I am unaware of and again ping it so it's just within our range there look and we're actually should be right on top of it and here you can see that there is the biomass now if you look you've got a cave okay so biomass is still found in a cave system and as long as you are in that cave system we're going to put um, a torch down and that is how you find biomass all you need to do is just find a nice little cave and let's go there so we can put a torch on the ceiling okay so that's how you find a biomass okay now you can quite nicely see if we put a to torch up here because we've just fell through okay we found another huge cavern so let's go and see what we've got we've got nice areas here again caverns are great to go and explore so we'll just have a quick look around we're going to go over nothing there this is only a small cavern looks like we've got a bit of tin there might have we might have a crystal up there so I'm going to shoot off up there if that's a crystal because that's nothing that we've dug and yes look we found a crystal we found two crystals by the look of it and we found yellow ones okay so we've got those and that's where we came from I believe so I'm going to put a torch down there so I know where I'm going and we found another crystal look we found a purple one. Oh my god look at this 
I've definitely, definitely got to put a torch up here. So we are look finding huge amounts of crystals, and that crystal over there looks kind of quite interesting because it's next to an ore block. Okay, so we're gonna take that one as well. So you can see huge amounts of air look. Oh my god, this just goes on and look at the size of this cavern man. That that goes down and look it goes even further. Oh my god. This is what I love about the deep caverns in this game. Oh, I, I, I don't really want to drop off, but you can see there's a massive, massive hole there. Look, the whole light just vanishes. So God knows how, how deep it is. We've got the wall there, look. Let's get more and more glowstone sticks in. Okay, so now we need to remember where were we going. And we've got a tiny little patch of light over there, so let's go over there. And then let's go up here, because that's where we were originally. Okay, so we now go over to here, which is... here okay so where are we going now is that a little bit of glow over there okay so I didn't mark my path properly but I'm sure we did yes we did come from this direction it's just that this is just another part of it so that's okay nothing over here is there no so that's been good we found two um, yellow crystals and we found a purple uh, red crystal which is the um, one of the nice things okay oh I got stuck in the rock right so what we're going to do now is we're going to widen this this up a little bit now the thing that we're going to do about this is with biomass it mines very very quickly it's not like an ore where you can stick a lot of stuff on it and it will say mine uh, for about three or four days and stuff like that no not with biomass biomass is utterly different utterly disappointing but <coughs> we need a couple of blocks of it and you can see just how easy it is to mine okay so as long as I've got a couple in there uh, question mark yeah we've got two unknown there so I'm going to see if it will let me see how much is there no it won't because the block hasn't been identified yet so we are going to carry on and we're going to dig out um, this way up here because I like bits done in threes just for the width and it makes it easier for torches and stuff to go down well, let's go back up I, I can dig that out later it's not going to be a problem 
because we're going to hit uh, titanium there look it's easier to actually dig down than it is to dig up right okay so uh, before we go let's just go back down to the biomass level let's press M and let's ping unknown and we have look we've still got unknown blocks oh that's because it's the biomass that's stupid of me that's a newbie error that is until you've actually identified it um, you can't um, X you can't find any new blocks now if you are looking for biomass and you find that you are having problem finding lots of it to start off with what I recommend you doing is oh we've got coal here is you um, scan several sites out okay because you know what you're looking for you know any of that um, stuff that you're going to be doing is going to be um, whoa move over you is going to be your um, your uh, but bi your biomass because you know it's on the last one okay so scan a few sites out go and get a few now we know ours is quite uh, close together so we're, we're not going to be too worried about it um, uh, no let's go to F3 and see if we can put all the crystals together now there's quite a few and we've only found some of them okay so we are going to put oh, what's it look like up there yeah we're gonna put another purple one there I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a yellow one over here now you may be saying well why waste the crystals that we're finding on the ceiling uh, the, 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 the basic reason is I'm not going to use them for the lenses because I just don't think you need to have them for lenses and stuff I, I just don't don't feel the need that you you, you need them. Um, I've used one uh, that was a bit disappointing. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got any gold coming. Have we run out of gold? Ah, we've run out of um, coal. Okay, so let's fill that up because we need gold going. So you can see now that our crystal cavern is coming quite nicely. Once I've got all the base laid out, what I might do is make some hanging lights and have them come down and spread the light down a bit. Or have the lights go up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but we still need some more over there, look. And we've got stairs going off up there because I think I've got a blue one up there. I think that's the only blue one I've got. I have, yeah, this is the only blue one I've got. Um, I just really have not found any of this. So we're going to pull the blue one out. Oh no, it's a purple one, isn't it? Is it a purple one? Let's go F3. No, it's a blue one. Okay. So we'll put that one there because I know the blue one's quite nice um, 
on and it's quite a nice colour so we're going to put that blue one um, let's see let's put it let's put it there okay so you can see we are getting huge amounts of colour in now and we're not having to waste our light they're a good light source see let's take this part off here I kind of quite like them as a decoration so we've got our biomass the problem is we haven't got our research station and the only way our research station is going to help is if we go up top so I'm going to go and fill the iron up first just to check how it's doing um, that's got nothing it's got nothing that's got nothing and that's got nothing so why are we not getting any iron what what's going on here are we smelting or what let's have a look what I've done right oh, let's go ah oh, turn that off let's get um, right so that is what is add only this should be on remove only um, okay this can be on add and remove this one could be on add and remove but this one must be on remove only this is why we didn't get any um, stuff going in and out now we're just going to check that make sure we've got it okay so we should see the iron ore go out the other end go look and uh, that's how it should okay so always remember that when you put one down that one there needs to be removed only because that's where all the ore is going to be collating and going in so yes uh, let's go to F1 and uh, we've got iron ore there so we need that in there so let's just put that in that will just spread out that will do um, what's that lithium copper tin iron lithium right let's go upstairs and get this bio um, <sighs> uh, sorted out but yeah that's why I don't use crystal lenses because I kind of like them for um, lights so you never know I might put them up here as well and this is we now know is going to be going down so we can fix that later you found biomass you can find turbines <coughs> and a lot of other nice um, things as well right this looks like it's finished so we'll come back and have a look at that later we're not going to be doing it now uh, there's our bridge and bugger right so that has finished okay so we are going to we 
drop back down because I need to get on the lift. Now don't forget if you do a lift shaft like what I've done, if you aim or fall correctly when you go and fall and you land on the lift, you will not break your legs and you will not lose energy. see it's completed there so that's another nice room that we can do and get sorted out okay so this is our energy there's the door right so it's back to our base I think the sun's out let's check out power how are we doing we're at 19% so yeah it's it's increasing now so we've got time we've got plenty of time I just want to see how we're doing okay so that's waiting for full battery not sure if we had enough to go to do another one no, we've not got enough gold to do another one. But you can see that it's starting to go quite quickly. <laughs> and it's only at 29%, 30. So we'll leave that for a few minutes, I think. Uh, that's not going anywhere yet. let's just have a look at K you can see we've got 5.3 K <coughs> pyros are probably still generating more this is getting ready to go Sh shove off over there Arthur and there you go you can see that it's starting to pulse yeah now it pulses a little bit and then it waits until the battery is full so you can see that um, we will have to come and see how that does again what's the energy collection on this only at 49 percent so we'll leave that for a while right so we're going to go to our research station and it's a shame that you can't move these but you can't once they're placed that's it so the power we need is 
25 and we've got biomass now it won't tell you what you've got until you click on the um, tablets on the on the tabs yeah now we've got a new project which is called hydrocarbon recom okay and it's not yet implemented organic life appears to be quite abundant in the deep hostile caverns perhaps you can make use of them so we'll research that one by integrating the local crystals into refinery schematics from the ship database you can break down the break down recombine the hydrocarbon hydrocarbons found in primitive growths from the deep caverns this should allow production of new materials for more complex machinery so let's see what we've got we've now got a jetpack okay <coughs> which is absolutely fun okay so we're gonna research that obviously we've got a refinery controller okay refinery vat jet turbine the jet turbine generator intake now have we got any other projects no so let's take a look at our manufacturing tab which is over here and let's see what we've got so let's have a look at the gun nothing up there the pop-up turret doesn't really do anything so we're not going to implement that and uh, we've got the jetpack here so this is what you can see that we need to get the jetpack going and you need the low grade steel bars plastic pellets and high energy composite fuel okay now we only need one which is very very good we still haven't bothered doing the suit headlight so we'll, we'll, we'll craft that because we've just we've got the materials it's not worth it okay now what else have we got have we got anything new in here mass storage outputs new in here have we got enough for solar power no we definitely haven't okay so the next one we've got here is a jet by housing and you can see that we need a lot of plastic pellets okay we need gold bars and we need advanced machine blocks jet turbine we need advanced machine blocks and low grade steel bars so let's go here and we've got advanced machine blocks so this is where now because we've got the nickel we start we need to start putting the nickel in the refinery controller you can see that the crystal deposit we only need 40 so we still don't need to do anything like that refinery um, advanced machine block so we need these again only four it's not going to be a lot I'm not sure if we've got anything else okay so this is where we got empty metal tubes again look you need iron yeah empty fuel canister which is an empty metal tune and we will I think have to start on the refinery controller so this is what we need first okay because this is where your power is going to be um, going into this is going to be the start this is going to be the front so we're now going to go and do the advanced machine block which is one 
and we need low grade steel bar and we need one of those so we'll craft that one it's a refinery controller and we need advanced machine block and we need one and the refinery controller okay so we've now got the refinery controller and we're going to say where are we going to put it now refinery jet turbines need air so there's no alternative you need to put them up here so we are now going to decide where to put them because we need to connect them to um, a power block okay now the nice thing about the jet turbines is if you can see this we're actually going to change these okay and we're going to do fire constantly and we're going to change these whoops and we're going to do that fire constantly okay because this one here really is the one that we want come on not sure if that's firing constantly down there now what's this one is that fire constantly yeah that's fire constantly okay so let's put that back I don't think I'll pick it up put that there so we'll do that fire constantly and we are draining so what we're going to be doing is where are we going to put our first turbine now we're going to need power um, to generate it and we're going to need it to generate into the power so we are going to look I'm just going to get rid of that so I can go here easier um, let's see I don't think that's, I think that's the right place ok so that one comes off and we're going to make a little bridge over here there let's go down I want my tree joined to the floor it's a better tree so now we are going to say right we'll get rid of these just because they're in the way so our uh, jet powered turbine yeah is going to be coming in here okay it's going to be coming there and this is where we are going to put our jet turbine and the start motor for the jet turbine will be Okay, this is um, <coughs> not going to work at the moment and it must be connected to a reactor vat. So <coughs> the way that we're going to do this is that needs to come off one because we're going to have to have power in there. Yeah, and we're going to have the, I think, if I remember correctly we need it over a bit more because you need to put the power on the outside so I'm going to put it here if I remember 
and then your power supply is going to be here okay and then we're going to be having a laser now this laser is going to be whoa 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 big okay all right and this is a new design I'm, I'm going to be doing okay so we might be getting rid of um, this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one off okay and we're going to put this one on here okay but now I'm going to take that and that off because it's only because I've done this before that I know the power situation so that's going to go there and that's going to go there okay so we're going to put that there like so okay now <laughs> that's not facing the right way you must have it facing the right way otherwise it won't make the block okay and we now need to go and make the turbine because I think that's the back controller yeah so I might have been slightly wrong there but I will watch more series one episode just to make sure so we need a, the turbine so where's the turbine right yes this is this is the bit that I actually got wrong to make the power you need the jet turbine okay so the jet turbine this is what we need okay now but we need the plastic pellets now you can't make the turbine until you've made the plastic pellets okay so we are correct in making <coughs> the bat first okay <coughs> so we've got the controller we don't need the controller now we need the refinery reactor vat component now that is a three by three square or three up okay so we need nine per layer We need 27 in total so you can see that we need 27 advanced machine blocks so what do we need for advanced machine blocks so we need low grade steel bars so we need 27 of those and we've just got enough for those but I don't think we've got enough nickel no we haven't got enough nickel so we're going to go and shove some nickel in here i can see something has happened here so let's go to one we've got nickel or let's shove in the nickel i know we've got nickel downstairs but we've also got nickel up here okay so I know that's going to be mounting there and that when we go and get it will actually just be um, we can just take the blocks out there because that yeah will give us titanium look yeah and we can just put that back and you can see in the inventory that we are, we got a lot more nickel and we got a bit of titanium there so what we can do is we can <coughs> because we know we're putting nickel through as well is well we'll just leave it 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and clear the area for the vat bridge now like I said you're gonna need one two you're gonna need a three by three area which is here okay that's one two three so we're gonna dig this this out <coughs> what I usually do when I am making this yeah is if I can find it I might have to move it again is put that one there is I always build my ground okay so I know that is my area which is a three by three and we're going at one two three okay so we're going to take these side blocks off because you all probably all know by now I, I like room to walk around stuff in still got 14k there look okay so that makes our bridge I mean this is just my preference you don't have to do it the same way but I just like the little bit of room and I don't like these odd bits of trees like that. I like nice thick trees. You know, you, you've got to have a tree trunk that is is a proper tree trunk. <coughs> so we're going to need power on the back. So these need to be in the right place. Okay, so first of all what we're going to be doing is because we did it slightly wrong is we need power okay power needs to come into it I'm not sure where the power actually goes um, I think we can have power going into the block because you need power there all right now <coughs> this plastic pellets and you'll need another one over here next to it okay um, if it's still the same figuration which I'm presuming it is so I'm going to put another one down but I'm only going to put the base down I'm not going to make the next one until I'm sure that we do have it how um, it's supposed to be okay Okay, so I'm going to put, just to make it nice, let's put some torches there. Okay, so yeah, that will be our power, and we will be running this by the solar panel. Uh, we're not going to be using uh, much more to uh, do it and um, because we did really really don't need to do anymore and um, yeah
again this is just so uh, my personal preference of I just want to walk around it and of course we found more coal which is always nice because of power generation because this all helps Okay, so I think that's the end of this episode. Um, I'm not going to do much more on this, I don't think. out later I don't know it depends how I feel I do want a little bit of a roof just so it looks a little bit nice um, yeah that one needs to come over Okay, so these are going to be our two things. You can see that this one is powering up. It's got no other energy except uh, the solar sun. Okay, so you can see that that's not holding anything. They aren't, but they do generate quite a lot of power, like I said, when they get going. Okay, so that's it for this episode. We are going to be looking at, um, like I said, the um, jet turbines because they're going to give us an awful lot of power but unfortunately you have to keep hunting for biomass and there's just not a lot of biomass around so the way that I do things is solar energy that is the only way I find of making sure that you've got enough stuff and enough power is your solar energy power because once you've got your solar energy power set up and running you don't need coal and you don't need the jet turbines okay yeah let's take this tree out it's it's a bit Overcasting for my liking. Well, I'll probably do that off screen. So, thank you very much for watching this episode. Um, I've hoped you've had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's helped you find um, the titanium. Sorry, the biomass. What's that? Up? Yeah. and um, I hope to see you in the next episode where we carry on working on the bats to get the uh, plastic parts to get the um, <coughs> what is it uh, the um, bits and pieces to build these vats so yeah have fun stay safe and see you